I see creative minds as being something that allows people to explore what it is that they enjoy doing, what they like, how they can find a way forward for moving on from their illness and understanding themselves as a person and what's going to help them recover. Traditionally, the way that we work with people is we're looking for problems, and that's not all that helpful for people. What we want to be looking at is what are you good at? What are you strong at? That, if we can find what people are good at and succeed at, that helps their self-esteem, it helps their self-confidence, and that's what helps them recover. So when we look at Creative Minds projects, we're looking at what is it that you enjoy? What are you good at? Where, where can you develop your, your, yourself and where you're going in life? What's good to you? How can you feel included? I'd like to try and explain this through using a model of the brain. The part of the brain we use when we're, when we're thinking about things and churning things over in our own mind tends to be at the front part of the brain. Um, but there's all this other part of the brain that does these other things. And one natural way of trying to pull the worry or the electrical thoughts related to the worry out of that part of the brain is activating the bits of the brain that do other things. This strip of brain is related to movement. So anything that you can do physically is good, be it rock climbing, gardening, exercise, just getting out there and experiencing what's around. There's a strip here called the sensory cortex, which is related to touch and feeling. Lots of people will say things like aromatherapy can be helpful to them, or massage. It's experiencing that sensory experience is helpful. Part of the brain at the back is the visual cortex. So anything you can do that stimulates your visual uh, experiences, be it in drawing or visual arts in any way, is helpful. Parts of the brain that are related to speech, so the things we talk about like bibliotherapy or, or boot reading, drama therapy, the experience of putting yourself in, a, in another place of being, parts of the brain that are related to, to hearing, so if you can stimulate that part of the brain through, through music, it can be very helpful. Dance is another thing I would really love to see going on because that activates all sorts of parts of the brain. The movement, the coordination, which is the part of the brain at the back. Touch, sound, social interaction. Highly stimulating, and that just switches off the worries. People feel part of things again. I think this is hugely innovative for people that I see. I'm often desperate as a clinician to be able to link people into some things that can help them find a way forward. It's not just about having depression and taking a pill. I see medication as reducing your symptoms. It's when people find a way forward, that's what the cure for their depression is. And it's these creative projects that allow people to find who they are and what they're good at. And creative minds stimulates those bits of the brains that maybe therapies don't often get to. I've had some very, very positive feedback from people that I've referred into creative minds projects. Uh, one or two people have said to me, it has saved their life. It has given them something that nothing else in our organisation has given them. That is so powerful to me as a clinician to say, I want to refer other people into those projects. It's really helped this person. Let's spread the message.